Hey everybody, I'm back with another 5 and 5 and I have Nikki Koenig with me from Lake Country K-Dubs. How are you today, Nikki? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. Now I'm trying to stay inside and enjoy the AC because the outside <laughs> weather today is kind of gross, kind of muggy, a little humid, and I just feel like any moment I just might pass out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just absorbing and loving all the AC I can possibly yeah. get. How are things in Lake Country? Really good. I haven't been out there in a second because, you know, life and children and end of summer stuff, but I love it out there. Wouldn't change it. Share a little more about yourself. So I have been in the business actually, dang, this week is my four year anniversary for real estate. Wow. Four years. Yes. So I've been in business for four years. I've been in Lake Country the whole time. I've been with KW the whole time. Um, yeah, I just love it here and the people and the education. And I came from teaching and now I teach some stuff with KW and it's fun to mesh my worlds together. So, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, congratulations though. Four years in the biz. You've seen it through the pandemic and now we're out of that. And, you know, in the market is hot and oh. I'm just glad that things are coming together as they are. But oh. I'm sure you're probably a lot more happier about it than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I lucked out with honestly ending my teaching career and jumping into real estate right as the pandemic started. Who could have predicted like that teaching in schools would be so tough and then real estate was just booming and so it's been really fun. Well, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock. Are you ready to shine? Yep. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that summer is about to be over and we're going to be wrapping up things in a few weeks and the kids are going to return to school, which is probably exciting for a lot of parents. Yep. Um, since you were previously a teacher, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. how has your experience as an educator helped you in, as a thriving real estate agent? Oh, so, okay. I was a teacher for special education. So there are so many commonalities with dealing with people and the communication piece and the paperwork piece. I think any special education teacher or teacher out there would tell you that the paperwork is insane. And then that transferred right over to real estate. But honestly, just like the daily interactions with people and meeting people where they're at and accommodating and rearranging my schedule and helping the first time home buyers to the sellers who you know are selling their third house. That's kind of like that spectrum, which I also experienced in teaching. So I don't I can think of a profession to come from that would have like better prepared me for real estate than education. So there's like so many things that are the exact same. Incredible. All right. Well, I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit and it's still yeah. related to school because as I learned and as you shared, you went to school with Charlie Stelle. And as a college student, we have got to have some tea. Tell oh. us. <laughs> Class clown, goody two shoes. Like what was that experience like? I, that's so funny because so I went to school with him, but really was I didn't I didn't like hang out with him a whole ton in on campus. So I don't have that much tea for you to be honest. Oh I wish no! I oh, you're no. serving ice water. I don't. I mean, I knew him. I like was friends with Kimmy, who knew him before, and some other people. But I don't have that much tea on him. Dang! I would have if you would have prepared me. I could have gotten some and then delivered it. Darn it! I gotta no, follow I my own rules. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he was a star student. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I was going for the goody two shoes, thinking that he was also the five star student, couldn't do no wrong. He definitely fits that bill. <laughs> That's how he probably was. Although I'm sure he had his fair share of fun, though, too, like on State Street and stuff like that. But <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so going into a little to entertainment, yeah. uh, which celebrity do you shamelessly follow in the news and why? Oh, Dang, that's a good question. When I was preparing, I did not even think you would ask me celebrity questions. Who do I shamelessly follow? I follow all of the like housewives. All like all Okay. Of them. So it's <laughs> not one specific celebrity, but I'm like so curious about their lives and don't ask me why. I just or oh, and I watch the Kardashians. Like I can't get enough of the Kardashians. So I would say the housewives and the Kardashians. I'm always like, what would I do with that much? with that much money or that much drama, really. I mean, it's all about that, right. right? But yeah, those two groups, I I do shamelessly follow. All right, well, let's jump back in. Since you're housewives, you were really back into the, you know, home ownership and all that good stuff. What has been your favorite listing experience? My 
favorite listing experience. I had been fortunate enough to list a bunch of my like best friends' homes, and I really think all of them have been so much fun just because I get to kind of, well, one, I get to work with them and they happen to be like my easiest sellers, and so that's nice. <laughs> Um, but honestly, actually, besides that, I will say I met somebody through a referral and I've now listed their home twice. So we listed, moved, listed, moved, and they've become really good friends. And so I think any listing experience where it, it develops into a friendship has been super fun. And I've had my fair share of crazy ones too, but the ones that like turn into friendships and everything we're on the same page with everything and there's not too many hiccups. With 30 seconds left on the clock, okay. what chance encounter has changed your life forever? What chance encounter? Wait, why would you leave this for the last question when I need the most thinking? Oh, dang it. oh man, that is so good. I can't even, I feel like I've like been through so much stuff, but I don't know that it's been like, I had like a medical thing happen nine years ago. And I had a liver transplant, which is like what? a crazy long story. It was like a surprise, fell into a coma, woke up, we got you a new liver. Oh, so oh that was God. probably the, the encounter that was, I guess I'll call it chance because it was a cute failure. I don't know why it happened. And then that has obviously changed my life forever. So I guess I would say that's probably the biggest thing. Whoa, 100% that's the right answer. <laughs> I can't think of anything else that has more chance than, oops, in the, your liver's done. Here's yeah, a new one. Like, that's it's crazy. Pretty much, that's pretty much how it went, too. So What a what a story to like tell yeah. and share, because that's something I, I did not know. I, wow. Yeah, it is, well, good for you. But though, like, get it. Keep yeah. it going. Like, yeah. That's huge. We're all, we're all good. We're all good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm so <laughs> now I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, Wow, I wish I would have known that. I, I would have left with that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, anyways, it was so fun. Yeah. You know what? The five minute challenge, of course, it, it did its thing and we're still going, but wow, your story is just so huge and compelling. Like, yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like I need to do a second one with you just so yeah. we can open the chapter on uh, being a teacher, liver transplant. Now you're a booming real estate agent. Like, oh my God. Yeah. If you write a book, I know people have told me I should write a book on the past 10 years of my life, which seems crazy, crazy because I'm 35 and but a lot has happened from 25 to 35 for me. So, well, how about a bonus question? If yeah. you wrote a book, what would you call it? I would probably name it. Um, I used to have a blog when I was blogging about some other things and um, the blog was just 712 because that's the date of my transplant. So I'd probably just have the numbers because I feel like people would be like, what does this mean? And then it would, I would kind of roll from there because that was sort of the beginning of the craziness of the past 10 years. So I'd probably just call it 712. I want to thank you so much. Yes. Uh, Mark, this was such a nice conversation thank and you. getting to know you a little bit more. And I'm just so glad we got to do this. Me too. Thanks for choosing me. I, I'm just, I, I'm promising you, I'm coming back for number two because I'll come gotta, back with some tea on Charlie. How about that? Can you come back with some tea? <laughs> I'll come with the glassware. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you here in the North Shore one of these days. That sounds good. Thanks. Take care, Nikki. Bye. Bye.